Hello everyone, this is What's Up again. Um, this video is to show um, bulb brightness uh, in reference to Stephen Mark's uh, TPU, which is better known as the OTPU or Open TPU, where he plugged the bulbs into the wall socket and then plugged them onto the OTPU. Uh, here you can see on the left hand side the bulb is being uh, energized by an AC source which is my mains voltage on there is 120.6 and on the right the voltage 120.8 120.7 this is DC so you have same voltage one is AC one is DC show you the brightness okay what I'm gonna do on the right hand side on the right hand side I, am, I can uh, uh, adjust the, the applied voltage, the DC voltage, because I'm going through my mains through a transformer, through a bridge rectifier with a 300 UF uh, 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 by, uh, uh, no, a 200 volt by 330 UF capacitor, which is across the DC. And then th my uh, transformer AC is being supplied through a dimmer switch. So I can adjust the applied voltage on there. And uh, I'm going to increase the voltage to 150. And then I'm going to bring it down in increments and read out the voltage so guys can get a you know, brightness to uh, voltage reference. So let me just bring this up to 150. That's the highest I really want to go on this. Okay, this is 150. Then I'm going to start going down. 149, 148, 148, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 100. This is 100 volts DC. So we're going to bring it down and we're going to stop at 91.2. 99, 98, 97, 98, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91. Let's get back up. 90, 91. This is 91. Uh, just a little tad down. 91.2 is in there. Let me close up on here. 91.7. It's it's around there. 91.2 was the target, but it's very, very difficult to get it set at 91.2 and have it stay there. So here, let me just try this last thing. It's around there. 91.2 is going to be around there. Bring this back. This is the difference between a bulb driven off the mains and a bulb at 91.2 volts DC. As the brightness that you would expect coming out of the uh, TPU, out of the OTPU. Okay, I'm going to start going down from here. This is the main reference point, but uh, just for added reference, I'm going to start going down to as much as I can. I'll read out the numbers. So this is 91, 90, 89, 73, 72, 71, 70, 
Uh, let me just bring it up, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 38, 39, uh, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, and now I'm down to 25, 25, and that's the lowest I can go is 25.8. Don't know if you can see anything there, but this will give you a good comparison on what's up here. Okay, let me just bring it back up to 92.1. Uh, 91.2, sorry. 91.2. Very hard to get it. It's about there. So that's about it. Uh, maybe one last thing on this video I want to show some of you some of you guys something that's unrelated. Uh, let me just pull this out here. Let's just bring this up. This here. I don't know if you can see it that clearly, but this is what I'm using now for my MOSFET holder. It's just a nice little terminal. Here I can change the uh, change the MOSFET with the for screws in the front. I've got some nice leads here, clips. The red one there is the gate. So that's what it is, and this permits me to get it beside my coils, and it's standing upright, and I can do my connections and change them around very quickly. So that's it. Thank you very much, and uh, until we see, uh, until the next video. Bye now.